Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ENDP. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days' worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame that has a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Thursday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But after today's monster move, definitely some updates here need to be done. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and adjust these levels up. Sure, these levels down here still do pertain to the chart. They're just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's just try to make this as clean as possible going forward. First level of support, one of the newest levels, and what I would call the ideal area would be right here at $3.15. Ideal meaning for say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price could stay up there above $3.15 again. Now, you know, not saying if that the price falls below, that would be ruined, but if the price could stay above there, like I said, that'd be a great sign of power. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that is where the purple line comes into play. The famous 50 period simple moving average keyword being moving so as next week plays out that line is going to move itself higher and higher so a very straightforward way to judge the health of the move that right there being defined as the move just watch that purple line as long as the price stays above that line as the line itself moves higher and higher then the bulls are in full health the bulls are in full control however you can best visualize that that is what is being represented taking a step back and looking at all this now from a resistance standpoint gonna have to squeeze down the chart like I said take a step back and this is a good problem to have I realize the charts getting hard to see here but that just goes to show that it's been a long time since the price has last been up around this area so initial level of resistance to keep an eye on gonna be right there at three dollars and fifty cents which is essentially where the price closed today if the price can get up through 350 then the next key overarching level right up there at three dollars and seventy cents so 350 and then 370 next two key battlegrounds going into next week all in all, though, anyway, look at it. Massive movement, massive volume. And now it's just a question of can the price build upon this momentum next week? Let's see what happens. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I want to invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you want to call it. But it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.